All right, so the Mugen and the X-ray, they have what they call an active rear shock tower, wherein the rear arm can fall faster than the spring extends. Uh, I think the benefit is faster in the chicanes, transitions for the rear. And I did this, uh, I have this effect in my car, but in a simpler way. So here, there's a vertical play of about 0.5 mm or 1 mm up and down uh, mainly due to the free play between the ball cup and the ball itself so it's it has a similar uh, function like the active rear shock tower uh, rear shock tower the front I did not want to have that so there's a small o-ring here very thin o-ring and now it's locked there is no play all right so easier solution <laughs> no need for those uh, fancy moving shock towers all right o-ring and then the second thing i want to share is in my design um, the upper link uh, will not change so if i set the camber at two it will not move other cars because of it's a a threaded turnbuckle and a plastic ball cup sometimes that would compress during a run so if you set it at two degree camber and if the quality is not good it will become 1.5 degree after just a five minute run or if it's there's a slight tap it will move this one there is no free space there's a spacer here 3 mm and on my design, a 3 mm spacer here will give me 2 degrees. If I want to lessen it, it's easy. I can just unscrew the top, put a 2.5 mm, and I will get more camber or put more spacer here, 0.5, in, uh, and then have less camber. And so I like it. I don't need a camber gauge anymore. I just go by shims. And it doesn't move. All right, there are two set screws here to lock this in place. It's not going to move. <laughs> so I think that's better compared to some of the newer cars. Or I'm pretty sure the camber settings moves. Where you have to check every run your camber setting. And I'm too lazy for that. I designed my car to be uh, for, for lazy people like myself. So that's one thing I don't have to keep measuring. And yeah, so that's it. Also, well, maybe I'll leave that to the next video, but maybe I'll say it now. It's already here. Why did I choose the tub? The tub has no tweak. So unlike graphite with an upper deck where you have to keep checking the tweak and you have all these tweak tools and uh, all that stuff, the tub this one is really flat i like i like the tto one tub it's flat there is no warp and it holds its settings it's always flat there's no tweak after a run <laughs> all right so that's another time saver for me and yeah that's why i picked it as well and the tub will also not necessitate an upper deck and helps lower the cg so there's something you know still good about having a tub design and uh, this one particularly better because there is no warping in the TTO one tub all right so that's just a, a small update on my design and why I did it that way all right if you look to the left those are my son's uh, aquariums they're full of fighting fishes, betta fish. Uh, let's take a quick look. I also, this is my fish pond. I have some goldfish. But here we have some beautiful fighting fishes. See this? So maybe once a year we breed and then we have a lot of fighting fishes at home. <laughs> Alright, so fish, 
fish is another of my hobbies. Yeah, laundry is not. <laughs> okay, all right. So I hope that's uh, that's uh, another update. Hope you enjoy it. See you.